What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kinchin here, and welcome back to this very creepy title screen. Let's let's get out of here. Um, welcome back to Crooked Man. Last time I got stuck, but I kind of cheated, looked online, just to get me out of this uh, tough spot. I need to go back to this room. And it said that there was something going on in here in this tile right here now you see how this tile is uh just a tiny little bit more illuminated than the rest of them i need to do this this tile seems a little loose stomp on it okay what did that do oh it opened was there a mechanism in the floor there's a ladder and it goes down where else Maybe I should check this out. Uh oh. Here we go. Can't see a thing. I need a light. Got you, bro. Lighter for the win. Hey, is there anything going on down here that I need to know about? Um, I'm David. Oh, what the freak is that? What the freak is that? A figure crouches on the floor. Uh, are you okay? Were you locked in here? <sighs> what, what? Are you okay? Whoa! <laughs> uh. What in the world? <sighs> Stay away from me! Don't come near me! Let's get out of here. Ah! Crap, let go, let go! Shake off. Shake off. Get off me. Thank you. Ah. 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 What was that? Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. Uh, let's get out of here, bruh. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. Oh, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy up Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? Yeah, let's let's get out of that room. They could have made that part so much more scary, but I'm I'm so glad that they didn't. It could have just been like, <laughs> you know how they be doing sometimes. All right, let's save this. Um yes. All right, now where is Sissy? She was in the uh, piano room last time we met. Doesn't seem like she's still here. So let's peruse the- Oh my gosh, what the freak? What was that, Sissy? Um, now that, that was a good jump scare. What in the world? The floor. Sissy, what happened? I, I just went to the window and the floor gave away. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. Uh, no, I can't. I'm slipping. Uh, a cat this big. This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. Uh, yeah. uh, that was too close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh, So scared. I was so scared. Dang, my my uh David dude, I look pretty cool, don't I? I? I don't like the dark. Why why do I It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's all right, baby. Come over here and lean on me. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? N not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it can be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I, I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present? Or... It's it's a present for my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, that's the worst. It's the most important thing to me. After my own life. Ah, oh, I see. 
Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone, but can you tell me more about them? Er, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little... F huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. Uh, I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask. And I don't know how he looks because I'm... Strange, but very kind. I would have been badly hurt if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Alright, back to the creepiness. I have no directive currently. Um, I am unsure about what I'm supposed to be doing. Come on. Here we go. Turn the lighter on. Why doesn't it automatically turn on? Hey, crooked man. Are you down here? No, you're not. There's something here. Bronze key, baby. Oh, yeah. Anything else down here? No. All right. Let's keep it moving. Bronze key. Let's save it really quick. And... Bronze key. I wonder what this key goes to. It must go to... Um... Actually, I, 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 I don't know what it goes to. Uh, probably. Yep. The bar. We're in the bar. Any drinkers out there? Let's see what we can find in this place. Oh, we got a book here. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and soppily written. OX. Don't know what that means. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Heck, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book which he had changed up every month. What the heck do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as heck not for us. Uh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? Uh, far end. Uh, must, must be on the left. A passcode on food is pretty crazy. Yeah, I would agree. Although, here's a funny story. When I was little, um, me and my younger sister, we would, um, we had this regulation. My dad was, or still is, pretty big on, like, rules and stuff like that, so... We had this one rule where we couldn't eat past like a certain time and um, we actually got like caught like sneaking food out of the fridge and so he said that he was going to put a lock on the refrigerator. Um, good thing he never did that but we were always scared that he was going to. So we got, uh, I mean they told us yeah sure there's a passcode but that entire note didn't say anything about what the passcode was. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book, which he changed up every month. Alright, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde book, right? Some kind of a call? No, no, not this book. S to T. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange blah, blah blah. It'd be on the shelf, right? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh, seriously? We gotta look for numbers in here. Okay, Mr. Edison, the lawyer, was a man of rugged countenance that was never. Oh, geez, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? This is of the highest caliber of puzzles. Um. Um. That's. What the freak? No way. That, that monster did it, really? It, 
it's coming this way. Crap, gotta escape. Game over. What the freak? I didn't even get to move. Let's do this. Let's do this. What's up, crooked man? You see, now that I've seen you, now that I've seen this piece of crap, I'm ready to do battle. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let him up. Come on. If, ah, if I drop him. If I drop him down here. What the freak? Oh, pushed him. Piece of trash. Ah. What is that monster? So what did I so what I saw earlier? Dang, I can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room under is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it'd be dangerous for her. Save. Oh my gosh. I like how he just like sidestepped him and just Oh, that was legit. Just pushed him down there. Alright, so now that we've averted that catastrophe, let's uh, see what I'm supposed to do now. I, I don't know. So it's said that there were four chapters missing. Chapter three is missing. Six and seven are missing. And nine is missing. Three, six, seven, nine. Let's try that. <sighs> Puzzles, man. Puzzles. You see something shiny, but it's out of reach. Let's save, because that crooked man, he likes to sneak up on people. Um, What do we have? We got a ladder. I could use this to get up to that thing. Oh, yeah. Key to 210. All right. Um, is that everything that's up in here? Got a key to 210. See what's going on in here. We got some broken crap on the ground. Looks like something was badly burnt. Oh, was this a photo? Looks like it was of a woman. Hmm, there's something under the pieces. Got a scrap from the notebook. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back, so I have to forget everything, good and bad. Ugh, my head hurts. It settled down. <sighs> I guess I'm exhausted. I guess. Oh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So he burnt this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? I, I, I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that's what makes me a pansy. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Ah, friendly face. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't go in, so it might be one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either. There's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. Susceptible, my foot. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist. But be... I just realized this guy's like agreeing with her after I just had it uh, a face-to-face -face encounter with the crooked man and I'm saying, all right, if you insist. Girl, get your butt over here. We are getting out of here. Dang, man, what's wrong with these people? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Now, her death is on his hands. If, if it comes to that, 
I would lickety split my behind out of there, man. Dude, these people are insane. Alright. So, I can't initiate anything else in here. Let's save it. There's a crooked man going to be at the end of the hallway. And... Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, no. A message in red? Was this be here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to what? Oh, come to me. I'm waiting for you. Come to me? Leave me alone? Sounds pretty inconsistent. That's what I thought. Who could have written this? What's that noise, man? Oh my gosh! I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. What the freak? What am I supposed to do? Let's save it. Oh, I can't save? What's up, crooked man? What's going- Oh! He can climb over chairs? Dude, this crooked man is like Sonic right now, dude. I noticed he gets a, he gets a running start. And then he can just freaking turbo. Alright. Um, this might be kind of dumb to rush back in here. I don't know how to handle this situation. I do not know how to... What's up, crooked man? Ooh. Let's, let's go, man. Come on. Alright, um... Let's see. Let's see. What, what... There's nothing in here. Literally. Nothing. What's up, crooked man? Oh, crap. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Come on. Come on, baby. Look at me. Oh! I'll be caught if I go in there. Go, 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 What the in the... One in the world? I dropped you down a pit. Why are you here? This monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Um. Um. Light him on fire. Now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be flammable. Yes. Mess with me. Oh, he freaking ran away. I wanted him to sit and die in front of me. Whew. What the heck is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now, where could I look? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Blood? Hold on. Let me save. Yes. Yes. Blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? Um, hope not. The door is unlocked. Oh, no. Sissy. Oh, crap. I pressed a button. Your arm is bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm got caught in something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have amnesia? Or did that? I, I don't know. If that, I don't think that said amnesia. I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief. So at least I can try to wrap it up. Oh. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't it hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering, wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento. A memento. Memento. I thought it was Momento. Memento? Memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex. <clears throat> he's my ex. You know what that means? She's available. Ring, ring, ring. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. 
That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he, exact and he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just ignore annoying you. I'll rest here a little longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. A key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Alright, guys. Well, this seems like a nice, safe, and sound place to end this episode. Thank you for watching. Um, that crooked man, he's resilient. I tell you that. Um, but that's okay because um, I'm Corey Kenshin, so he will be defeated no matter what. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.